right now on Fox 5 News at 5. How much do you trust your favorite food truck vendor? I don't really have a favorite food truck vendor. That says a lot, I guess. A new report says many servers are putting customers at risk by ignoring a simple rule of food safety. Antoine Lewis is live on the Upper West Side with the dirty details. Antoine, I'm scared to find out what they're doing. Uh, yes, Steve, you know this is going to be a very interesting report. Good evening, Derry. Good evening, everyone. Now, the study was done here in Manhattan over the course of the summer. And for those of you who had concerns about the food vendors before, you are really about to get upset now. At the smoothie cart at 62nd and Broadway, Gomar won't mix money and product. Every order change changes us. So usually after you make someone a drink or fix their thing, you change the gloves? They change every order. Every customer that changes their gloves. It appears several of Gomar's fellow vendors are not so glove conscious. A study by William Patterson University in Wayne, New Jersey, observed nearly 500 transactions, and in only seven cases, the food worker changed their gloves after handling the food and then payment before moving on to the next customer. Which equals to about 1%. So, therefore, you can assume almost 100% of the time, these food vendors are not changing their gloves. We watched at least three transactions at this cart in Columbus Circle where the worker never changed his gloves between customers. We saw some vendors with no gloves at all. And then there's this case. The vendor has no gloves on, but refuses to touch the money, telling the customer to give it to his partner. Bash says the concern is real. Coliform bacteria was found on nearly a dozen dollar bills collected during their study. Bacteria is growing on this money. And so it is, and it can be transferred from money. And, and it's a big deal from a public health standpoint that this could be an avenue by which illness is spread. We spoke with New Yorkers about the findings. It does bother me because, uh, I mean, if they're not wearing gloves, it means that it's not clean. I think that they should wear gloves all the time. Of course, contamination. You're dealing with money. You're dealing with um, utensils. You're dealing with the food. So, therefore, the bacteria level is going to be awesome. Now, the Department of Health says that gloves should be used for one purpose only, either to cook the food or and another pair of gloves should be used for handling the money, not both. Clearly, the Department of Health may need to make a couple of stops, Stephen Derry, along some of these food carts, but that's yeah. what we saw today. And they are everywhere, Antoine, that's for sure. All right, thank you, Antoine.